if you're currently living in South Africa and you are either a high school student, college student, or just in your early 20s and you're wondering, what should I do in my life? Should I get into 9 to 5 or should I start my own business? In this video, I'm going to answer those questions according to my own experience and hopefully they're going to help you out. What up though? My name is Jai and welcome to this channel. It's an absolute pleasure having you here and in this channel, I try to help you make some extra money based on my experience sharing some of my skills and help you to get on their path of financial freedom. So if you like that type of thing, make sure you hit the like subscribe button. <laughs> if you like that type of thing, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I know. Let's get into the video. Okay, just as a quick disclaimer out there, I am not a financial advisor or a career advisor and I haven't quote unquote made it if there is such a thing as making it. But hopefully the ideas and the concept that I'm gonna share with you in this video are gonna help you you know, much more, make it easy for you to get some of that more that pop that everybody wants, right? A question you might ask yourself is, should I do nine to five or should I start my own business? And both of them are good, but both of them have their own perks and their own disadvantages. So I'm going to start out with nine to five. If I was still in, you know, just finished school or in my early twenties of which I'm still in my early twenties, um, what I think I'll do is start out with the nine to five, but in picking that nine to five, I don't just go for a generic nine to five. For example, I wouldn't go and work in a restaurant because those kind of skills, I won't be able to apply them in everyday life to start another business. So instead I'll go look for a nine to five that is skills that I can use on my own to start a business. For example, uh, I'm using me as an example. I was working for my bro man, he had an internet cafe. So I was helping up with printing, copying and graphic design. And that is how I started doing graphic design. And as I grew, I, you know, I further upgraded my skills and started taking my own clients. And now I'm running my own thing. I'm working as a freelancer. Uh, another thing is also photography. I was interested in photography. So I started playing with photography and now I'm a professional photographer. So when choosing a nine to five, what I would do is choose a nine to five. That is the skills that I can then use later on, even if I get fired to start my own business, right? For example, I used to work for this printing company and when I got fired, it wasn't that devastating for me because I knew I could get clients on, on my own, you know, uh, offering the services that I'm offering. I only needed to upgrade my skills in terms of marketing and other things like that. But that's my, that's what I would do. I would do skills or go for a nine to five. That is the skills that I can use in everyday life. If I'm starting a business. Uh, a business is much more difficult to start. I know with the internet, YouTube, TikTok, there's a lot of advisors out there, you know, coaching court advisors out there. And you, you you must take the advice with a grain of salt because, you know, it differs with your location. It differs with your skill set. It differs with, you know, your experience of life. Somebody might tell you, do Facebook ads, do TikTok ads, or just start posting and, you know, something is going to happen. Although those advice like or advisors, you know, mean well, or those advisors, you know, work for other people. It might not work for you, right? And business in general is much, much, much difficult to execute. So when starting a business, I, I, I would say start a business while you're working at nine to five. As I said, uh, going back to the first point that, you know, if you have a, a nine to five that is skills that you can use in your everyday life to get other clients, you know, uh, for example, that printing uh, example or a photography example, Let's say you're working at a printing shop. You can save up some money to buy a printer, save up some money to buy a laptop too, if you're doing graphics as well. And while you're still working the nine to five, you'll be offering your services to other clients as a freelancer. Someone wants a poster, you can design them a poster. You can do it in an hour at home. You know, there's so many applications there. There's Canva, there's professional applications like Photoshop, CorelDRAW, Adobe Illustrator. I think in the future, I'm gonna do some tutorials on CorelDRAW and the professional side of graphic design, but that is just as an example, right? So whatever it is that you do, let's say you sell clothes, right? It's a retail shop. Notice how they sell their clothes, how they do their marketing, how they do customer relationships and implement it in your own business. So maybe start going to job back, buy some thrift clothes, buy some, some clothes that people don't know where to get and start selling them maybe on your WhatsApp, on your Facebook or wherever it is that you sell. Even in person, on a weekend, you can start at a mini stand outside like a pop-up shop and start selling those things. So please, please think about business, especially if uh, if, if you're going to be relying on yourself, if you're in your early 20s and you have pay rent by yourself, 
you have to really think hard about starting a business. However, if you are living with your parents or if you have someone who's supporting you, starting a business might not be a bad idea because you have some people who are supporting you. So if you get a capital, then let's say you go to job bank, you buy some hats and you know, you start selling those hats. For example, in winter, many people want winter clothes and don't want those fluffy socks and hats and all those winter wear. I have a friend of mine, her name is Navarro. She she bought those things and she was selling it. And we supported it, not only because of, you know, we're supporting her because she's our friend, but we supported her because we needed those things. I needed those socks. Man, it was cold out here. So I needed those kind of things. So that's another thing when looking at business, look at what people need, not what people want. Because if you sell something that people want, it's, it's, it's a nice to have, it's not really a need to have. But if you sell something that people need to have, for example, those socks, we really needed them. And she was the only one who was selling it. Otherwise, we had to go to job back. Or we had to pay, you know, transport money and go look for a place. And also time being taken. So it was convenient for us to, you know, work with her. Last but certainly not least is always invest in yourself, man. You know, from the skills that you get from your 9 to 5, always invest in yourself. Be curious. Learn how people interact with each other. How the business that you're working for is running their marketing, how they're running the overall business, uh, what are the challenges and the problems that they're facing so that even when you start your own business, eventually in the nearby future, you are going to have those skills in you. You already know the challenges and therefore you might have the solution to those challenges. Always invest in yourself, man. Read books and if you can't read books, find ways to learn new information, learn new skills. There's a lot of resources out there in the, on the internet TikTok, YouTube, and learning platforms like Skillshare where you can, you know, learn your skills. And when you learn something through a video or audio or a book, make sure that you practice it and be patient with yourself. You know, it's obvious, it's obvious that you're not going to yield the results immediately after you practice something, unless if it's, you know, a hands-on how to do something, you know, video. But other than that, you're not going to, you know, experience the rewards of what you just learned immediately but with practice and over time being patient to yourself you're going to see yourself growing and actually becoming a better person so it's of course your boy uncle jai and thank you for watching this video if you learned something or if you have something that you want to add to it please make sure that you leave it in the comment somewhere around here and we can have a conversation man other than that you can check out this video uh somewhere around here and i'll see you on the next one peace